radio play for this week, Royal Visitor, is a dramatization based on a story entitled Cinderella Captures the Prince, which will be found in the fascinating pages of next Sunday's issue of the American Weekly. The educational and entertaining magazine distributed with every Hearst Sunday newspaper from coast to coast. Cinderella! That is Mrs. T. Struvenoff Pinstock calling her daughter. Mrs. Pinstock is always calling her daughter for something. Let's follow her on her quest for her debutante offspring. Cinderella, get out of here! You yeah, have a mom? In the conservatory or the music room? Yeah, 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 All right, dear, don't go away, Mama. We need to talk to you. Ah, oh, here you are, Philomela. Yes, Mama, here I am. Bless my soul, I'm sure I don't see how you can lie there on your stomach, kicking your heels in the air in time to the music on a day like this. Heavens, this radio hit my nerves like a dentist's drill. There, that's better. Now, sit up like a lady, Philomela, and compose yourself the way I am. That's what I was doing, Mama, composing myself by playing the radio. I can't sit still and twirl my handkerchief any longer. Has Mrs. Holt said so? Not yet, and I can't understand it. Ella promised me faithfully, she said. Emma, too? I'll call you the minute the invitation list is made up. Perhaps I'm not to be invited, Mama. Do not invite you to the welcoming ball for the prince? Why, they don't dare leave you off the list. They don't dare. I should never speak to any of that committee the rest of my life. Oh, I just couldn't bear it if I'm not invited. You will be, Philomela. Unless you snubbed Ella Hall says Muriel. You haven't been rude to Muriel lately, have you? Oh, no, Mama. That's good. Of course, Muriel's a little slip. But Ella's got a lot to say on that committee. You must be very careful. Well, until the invitations are in the mail. But they're only going to invite a hundred girls for the prince to choose his dance partners from, Mama. You'll be there, Philomela. And I saw just the dress for you in Sloshmacher and Hammer Mog show window. It's the newest shade of raspberry. The phone? That must be Ella. Oh, dear, I'm so excited. Oh, why doesn't Martha answer the phone? Oh, I can't wait. I'll use the extension right here. Who is it, Mama? It's Ella. Yes? Why, it's you, Ella. Am I to be invited, Mama? Am Ella, I? you don't mean it. She's not. Oh, Philomena. Mrs. Halstead says your name is on the list, dear. Oh, Ella, that's marvelous. Oh, oh, I forgot to ask. Did you get dear little Muriel on the list, too? Oh, that's nice. Who? Hmm? Mrs. Draper. That's Judy Draper isn't invited, is she? Oh, I see. No, they want her sister Kitty to do an exhibition dance. Uh, uh what was that, Ella? Oh, Kitty Draper, that's different. She's only ten. Philomena says Kitty's only ten. Isn't that remarkable? <laughs> yes, I will, Ella. Thanks for calling. Oh, I forgot. Uh, goodbye, dear. Oh, isn't that wonderful, Mama? I'm going to meet the prince. Mm, if Ella doesn't get that Muriel brat of hers ahead of you... Well, I'd never have been able to hold my head up if that Judy Draper had been invited. But since it's only her sister Kitty they want, I guess a ten-year-old won't give me any competition with the prince. There's a postman. See what he has for us, will you, dear? My hands are all wet from these dishes. Yes, Roger. Mother. Yes? Mother, it's clear. The invitation is clear. May I open it? Yes, if you like. It's all engraved and embossed with a royal coat of arms. It says, it says the Consul General and Diplomatic Staff of the Moronian Embassy request the honor of your presence to meet His Royal Highness, Prince Gregory of Moronia, a dancing at ten. Please present an invitation at door. Well, put it back of the clock up there, Judy, so it'll be safe until the night of the ball. Oh, I wish there was some way for me to go, Mother. Well, there isn't, Judy. The committee wants to have your sister Kitty there to dance for the prince. But she's only ten. Oh, can't you get me in somehow to see the prince? I... I'll be quiet as a mouse. <laughs> well, at those grand formal affairs, Judy, they have doormen to keep out anybody who isn't on the list. Oh, dear. There must be some way of getting to the ball. Now, stop worrying yourself about it, Judy, dear. Oh. It's impossible. 
Put the invitation away, like I told you. Yes, Mother. Oh, Mother. Mother, I got the way. What? I can go with you and Dad. Oh. Well, 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 look, look. This is addressed Mr. and Mrs. Joe Draper and Miss Draper. Well? Oh, Miss Draper. That means me. Oh, no. Oh, yes. No, that means Kitty. They just forgot to put her first name in. Well, that's my good fortune, then. Oh, don't you see, Mother? No, dear, I... Well, well, Kitty will be dressed up in her dancing costume, and the doorman will let her in because... Well, because they'll be expecting her, and, and then we can get in on the invitation. Oh, no, that wouldn't be right. Well, I'm Miss Draper, even if my name isn't Kitty. And, Mother, I'm... I'm going to that ball... It worked, Mother. It worked. I'm really in the grand ballroom. Yes, Judy. Oh, Mother, aren't the decorations beautiful? Yes, dear. And, and the colorful uniforms and the dresses? Oh, it's all very beautiful, Judy. And though I never dreamt you would, I'm glad you got in. Well, I guess I can look at a prince if a cat can look at a queen. <laughs> <laughs> Mother, Mother, here comes the prince. Oh, how handsome he is. And how gracious. Look, he's giving a signal to resume dancing. Oh, and there's Mrs. Kenstock dragging Philomelo over to meet him. <laughs> Your Royal Highness, may I present my daughter, Philomela? Philomela Kenstock. Your Royal Highness. I can see the family resemblance, madame. But I should never have dreamt the relationship to be that of mother and daughter. Oh, oh, oh your highness. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, Philomena dances, your highness. Yeah. Uh, may I have the pleasure of this dance then, Miss Finstock? Oh, your highness, the pleasure will be all mine. Ah, Miss Finstock, you should not be selfish. Let us share it. Here comes the prince, mother, dancing with that Philomela. <laughs> How lucky she is. She isn't as good a dancer as you. Oh, too bad you aren't the prince's partner. So, Mother, I've got as much chance of meeting him as I have the, the man in the moon. Well, he's looking right over here at you, Judy. Well, he can't be looking at me. He must be somebody standing behind us. But, but there's nobody standing behind us, Judy. And he stops dancing with his prince off and looking back this way. Oh, I, I wonder what he's saying. That perfectly beautiful young lady down there. And your Highness is wasting his glances on a mere nobody. She really doesn't belong here. So, uh, Michel, Highness, go to that young lady and tell her what's going Mother, mother, here comes an officer in gold braid. Oh, dear, he must be going to put me out of the ballroom in front of everyone. I hardly think he'd do that, Judy, dear. Well, if he does, I hope there's a firing squad outside to put me out of my embarrassment. His Royal Highness has expressed a wish to meet you, young lady. Judy, Judy, didn't you hear? His Highness wants to meet you. Well, I, I heard, but my knees are shaking, so I, I can't start walking. You will please come with me, miss. What is your name, please? Uh, J Judy, Judy Draper. Highness? May I present Miss Judy Draper? I am charmed. Oh, Your Highness. Shall we uh, dance? Oh, Your Highness. Ah, allow me to congratulate you on your perfection, not only as a woman, but also as a dancer. Oh, one ought to be perfect with you, Your Highness. Unless, unless they're too frightened. Frightened? <laughs> you are not frightened. Not now, but... I was, terribly. But why? Because I don't belong here. I wasn't even invited. No? No. You see, I got in on my little sister's ticket. When you sent that officer after me, I thought you were going to put me out. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> yes, really, Your Highness. Oh, my goodness. I shouldn't have told you that. Now, you may have me put out for sure. Judy. Do you mind me calling you Judy? Oh, No. <laughs> All my friends call me that. Thank you. And mine call me Gregory. Oh, uh, I'm deeply honored, uh, Gregory. You have honored me with your confidential secret, Judy. 
Shall I tell you mine? I should like to have all the others put out of the ballroom so we might have it all to ourselves. Oh, oh, thank you. And so should I. But since that is impossible, we shall have to do the next best thing. And what's that? Why, to leave the ballroom to the others and have a tete a tete. Oh. I know where there is a beautiful bower of palms. My soul. Did you see that, Delamina? She shot them off. The way the prince sashayed that little Miss Nobody right off the dance floor. You ask me. I think you did the sashaying, Mama. The little up top. How did she ever get in here in the first place? I'll just go see her mother. Mrs. Draper? Yes. I'm Mrs. Draper. I'm Mrs. Pinstock. This is Steve Kriegler Pinstock. How do you do? Not very well, Mrs. Draper. Your intruding daughter has ruined this ball. Intruding daughter? I'm afraid I don't agree with you, Mrs. Pinstock. We presented an official invitation. Very well, Mrs. Draper. You received an invitation for this evening. But tomorrow night is the President's Ball. No invitations have been sent to your family for that, I believe. No, Mrs. Pinstock. No, and none will be. I shall see to that. And the next night at the President's Ball. Well, Philomena, isn't it a relief not seeing that Draper girl here tonight? Yes, Mama. <laughs> I told her mother I'd see she didn't get to this party. And she hasn't, Mama. You bet she hasn't. <laughs> oh, here comes Prince Gregory. Smile, Philomena. I <laughs> feel. Oh, good evening, Your Highness. Good evening, Madam. You and your daughter look charming, as always. Oh, thank you, Your Highness. <laughs> oh, Your Highness, Philomena adopted. Yes, I know. Oh, uh, excuse me. I see someone coming in whom I wish to greet. Mama, look who it is. I can't look. My lawn net won't unsnap. Who is it? That horrid little nobody, Judy Draper. What? Here? But no invitation was sent to her. She's here on another fraud. I'll have her put out at once. I'm afraid you're too late, Mama. She's dancing with the prince. Ah, uh, Judy, I've been looking for you all evening. I was beginning to fear you wouldn't come. You asked me to come last night, didn't you? Yes, I most certainly did. This is to be our last dance together, Gregory. Tomorrow you're leaving on your warship for home. Yes, Judy, I must return to my country. But I shall never forget my little Miss Norbert. The only real friend I've made on my trip. Oh, yes, you will, Gregory. I'll prove it to you. Here is something I want you to have as a remembrance of our acquaintance. Oh, a diamond vanity case. Inscribed in it, you will find an expression of how long I could dance with you and how long I shall remember you. Open it. Oh, your highness. Judy. I mean, uh, Gregory. That's better. Oh, do you really mean that? Will you remember me this long? I shall. Just as it says. Forever. 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 The story from which today's dramatization was taken will be found in the pages of next Sunday's issue of the American Weekly under the title, Cinderella Captures the Prince. The American Weekly is a magazine distributed with all first Sunday newspapers from coast to coast. This is Wentworth announcing and turning the microphone over to your own announcer. Thank you.